looking for something fun to do in Orlando outside of Disney World and Universal Studios? How about a little road trip to a place I went to all the time as a teenager, one of the best freshwater springs in all of Florida. We will be swimming, snorkeling, and tubing. Here are the supplies we're bringing today. We have a cooler, keep some water in there, some light snacks. We have the GoPro. We have the snorkels, we have a dry bag, we have a boogie board. I don't think we're going to need the boogie board, but it does have an attachment for the GoPro, so maybe we'll find some use for it. Uh, and then of course the tubes we will pick up along the way. It's time to pull the doors, drop the top, and go have some fun in Rock Springs at Kelly Park. Rock Springs at Kelly Park is actually located in my old stomping grounds of Apopka, Florida. I graduated from Apopka High School just down the road from Rock Springs. For me, Rock Springs was a great place to visit after school or after work. But for you guys, it's a great place to visit in Florida to have a little fun outside of Disney World and Universal Studios. Rock Springs is located about 40 minutes from Disney World or Universal Studios. Pro tip. I would suggest taking the 429 toll road instead of Interstate 4. I'll put the full address in the description box. Now if you're coming to Rock Springs to do some tubing, they do not rent the tubes inside of Kelly Park. There's the Rock Springs Bar and Grill, your last chance to rent the tubes. They are $7 for cash, $8 if you use a card. As you can see, we got here early. There are all types of tubes available, different sizes, adult sizes, sizes for the kids. Like I said, $7 for cash, $8 for credit card. But if I were you guys, I would try my best. If you're interested in coming here, come on a weekday. Avoid the weekends. I'm telling you now, that is a pro tip, a recommendation, Rock Springs on the weekdays. Like a Tuesday, like today. Hours of operation during the summertime are 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. and in the wintertime it's 8 to 6. You don't have to rent a float or a tube. You can bring your own, but for everyone's safety, your float ought or not be bigger than me, 5 feet. I guess I should mention the parking fees. It is $3 per vehicle for 1 to 2 people and then $5 per vehicle for 3 to 8 people and then $1 for each additional person, walk-ins, motorcycles, and bikes. Hello. Hi, how many people today? Two. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, we have our parking spot. Uh, the, the park opened at eight. By the way, in the morning, they allow 280 cars into the facility, into the park. Yes. And then after 1 p.m., they allow another 50. Mm -hmm. So what, 330 cars in total? And that equates to about 1,350 people. Yeah. Not quite 1,400. Um, so that's how many guests they allow in the park each day. Mm -hmm. That's why you have to get here early. What do you say, Nikki? <laughs> Let's go ahead and grab our stuff, our tube, and go set up camp somewhere. I like it, let's do this. I'm gonna call that camp done. <laughs> we're not ones to just hang around and sit around. Um, we're gonna grab the tube and I'm gonna grab the snorkel. So I think Nikki's gonna tube, right? I think my first trip down, yeah, I'll tube. It'll tube first and I'm gonna snorkel first. Yeah. So you know what, let's uh, put some stuff in the dry bag, get going. We're gonna show you all around the park later. Yeah. Uh, for example, this little like swimming area just around the, to the left of us. Mm -hmm. But we're gonna to head to the mouth of the spring first and snorkel downstream. Mm -hmm. And tube, in your case, tube yeah. downstream. Sure. As we head down to the mouth of the spring, I should note, this is gonna wake us up. The water temperature year round is between 68 and 72 degrees. It's cold at first, but then it's gonna feel good. Another thing to note as we head up to the uh, to the spring, to the mouth of the spring, a lot of people when they think of Florida and they think of the springs, they think of manatees. There are no manatees at this park, no manatees at Kelly Park. But later on in the year, we'll take another road trip to a park where manatees do like to hang out. So we have made it to the head of the springs. 
Rock Springs right there. Caves back that way. You see some bars back there. Now, I never did this, but uh, when I was coming up as a teenager, some of my buddies, they would go back that way. They say there's some air pockets. I don't know. Um, I kind of like breathing, so I never went back there with them. And I don't recommend anyone do that, but <laughs> they do have a lifeguard on duty now. Back in my day, there was no lifeguard. But this is the head of the spring. This is where it all starts. All right, I am going to use some anti-fog on my snorkel mask and we're going to get going. I am now going to put the cannon into the dry bag, hopefully it works, and switch over to the GoPro. We're gonna let Nikki get in with the tube first and then I'll follow with the snorkel. You think you can get in there, Nick? I think so. I'm watching how other people do it I'm first. gonna record you. Might We might get something funny. All right, there she goes. Is it cold, honey? This is Florida's best lazy river. Forget Disney's lazy rivers. Forget Volcano Bay's lazy and crazy rivers. This is the best. Right. It's leaves too. <laughs> Shocking leaves. Yeah, the weeds, honey. Yeah, the weeds. I'm gonna push you into the weeds. I'll spin you around. So it's at this point, normally as a young man, as a teenager, I would get out here at the beach and then walk back up to the head of the spring and snorkel back down again. Oh, okay. Uh, but uh, for the purposes of being an adult and having a YouTube channel, let's continue down the river. A couple things, um, it is rock spring, so some of the footage you are seeing, lots of rocks. Yes. For you guys, I would recommend wearing your swim shoes. Yeah, they're slimy and they're hard. Yes. So um, every so often you'll hear, you'll hear a ow <laughs> you know, when someone stubs their toe. It is rocks springs. Yes, it is. But like I said, for I, like you just tube down, you don't have an issue. Right, until I stood up. <laughs> and for me, like I would just snorkel down. Right. So from this point, like here's the little beach area, the main picnic area where people hang out. We're about to head down river and this is a more natural look. Yes. It's just gonna be the water and the foliage, and who knows, an otter or two. No gators though, I'm sure. I did say this is Florida's best lazy river, Nikki. Yes, you did. I can make it a crazy river for you. <laughs> and we've made the full run. This is as far as we can go snorkeling and tubing. There is the ramp right there where we exit. We can walk back to the beach area. We can walk back to our camp or to the head of the spring and do it all over again. Here is the bridge, our stopping point. Now on the other side of the river, this is where we can go to King's Landing. You can do canoeing, kayaking, sup boards, but that's allowed on this side of the river, not on this side, which is where you do your tubing and your snorkeling. Over here, you know what? Another road trip will be canoeing on this side of the river. There's Nikki ahead of us walking the tube back. I think it will go to camp. We'll time it how long it takes to get from the exit of the river to get to camp and then back up to the head of the spring. But as we are walking back to camp, let's get uh, Nikki's reaction to Florida's best lazy river. What do you think? 
I love it. Honestly, um, we need to make this a more regular trip. We will. I, the temperature of the water is fantastic. Feels great. Yes, it does. Like I always like, I mean, I wore a swim shirt just because I was a little worried. Mm -hmm. Whoa, there's a bug. Whoa, there's a bee. <laughs> That's natural Florida. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, we're keeping that on camera. Oh, hey. A bee landed on the floaty. At least it wasn't a gator. It just scared me because it buzzed my ear. Which anyway. by the way, let me get back to the, we'll get back to you in a second. Okay. The gators. Now, I lived in Florida my whole life. Um, I, I don't worry about alligators. It seems like people who come down here and visit, they're all concerned about alligators. Not at Rock Springs. I mean, there's posted warning signs naturally, uh, but don't worry about that stuff. Yeah. Uh, I've lived here my whole life, no big deal. Uh, now, back to your reaction to the river. Um, so, I there's a longer section mm -hmm. that is sandy which i appreciated yeah. you know because then yeah. i could get out and walk the floaty a little bit too yeah um, that's a good section to walk in yes uh, like i said earlier uh in the head of the spring very very rocky you can see by the footage we've recorded with the gopro very rocky yeah and honestly if you start at the swimming area if you're not like brave and you don't you don't want to jump in where the rocks are yeah the head of the spring yeah yeah i mean getting in at the swim area is an easy way and then it's all sand you avoid the all the rocks whole way. Yeah. but that's the halfway point technically yeah so you'd be missing like the first half mm -hmm. of the springs yeah but um no i mean it's well, so much fun i love it i mean i'm kind of glad it's an overcast day yeah i mean it may not be pretty to show like it being bright and sunny mm -hmm. but it's nice out i really like Super it fun. like i said i did this all the time as a teenager and a young adult and as you can see here when you're done with your snorkeling or your tubing or just walking in the river a nice little nature trail for you to enjoy it was about a five minute walk from the time we exited the river to get back to the main swimming hole area. And then if you wanted to, get right back in here, take your tube and uh, go back down the river. But we're not gonna do that right now. We're gonna go to our camp and then we're gonna walk back up to the head of the spring. But while we're here, they have a little board to show us some wildlife we may see. Owl, black bear, snakes. Woodpeckers, wild turkeys, deer, bobcats. I've lived in Florida my whole life. Uh, I've seen a bobcat twice, and I've never seen a black bear. Okay, let's go walk around the park. We'll give you some more information. Kelly Park does have a concession stand. Very simple stuff. Hot dogs, hamburgers, things like that. Um, it is cash only, though. You cannot uh, pay for the concession stand with your credit cards or debit cards. It is cash only. They also sell different type of things you might need in the park. Uh, they sell masks, uh, bug spray, sunscreen, anything you might need while you're camping or hanging out here. They'll sell it at the concession stand. They do have a limited number of lockers to rent. Locker rentals are $8 with a $5 deposit. They also have showers at this little clubhouse. And I may have mentioned this before, I don't recall, but you cannot bring alcohol into the park. Nope. Nope. Uh, and by the way, Kelly Park is a county park, not a state park. Yes, you're right. Uh, also, no pets unless they're uh, like a service animal. This is one of the main picnic areas. You can see someone brought one of their 10 by 10 tents. Um, you can bring your own grill, or you can use the what stuff they provide here. Um, they even sell charcoal at the concession stand. So you can bring your own grill for the picnic area. Again, that would not be allowed in the waterfront area. This picnic area also has a sand volleyball court. Have fun there. Here is a covered picnic area. They have their grill right there. You can bring your own grills, like I said. Also, a horseshoe pit. Bring some horseshoes. Kelly Park does not rent cabins. Nope. But they do allow camping. They sure do, in certain areas. Yes, I will leave uh, the camping information, I'll leave it a link in the description box. Yep. This county park, Kelly Park, it does allow drones. It does. I just got a drone. You sure did. Uh, now you can't take off the drone right from the, the waterfront. Correct. It has to be from one of these main picnic areas, and also there's like no low flying. Right. 
So, uh, uh, but I could see why, because there is a ton of trees. Oh my uh, goodness. Yeah, and people. Good and luck. people. Yeah, I know he's been practicing for probably like a week now. <laughs> so, uh, but not, see how it goes. But not in an area that has this many trees. Are you nervous? I'm a little nervous. Now I have all the confidence in the world in okay, you. Okay, well let's see if we can take this baby off and give you an aerial view of Rock Springs. We want to make another run down the spring, yeah. this time with Nikki snorkeling. I'll give you some advice. Okay. I think I might take the boogie board. Okay. I, I can attach the GoPro to that, uh, maybe get some cool shots. Yeah. Um, but, so as far as as far as far the snorkeling goes, okay. uh, there are some shallow parts, mm -hmm. but you can still skim over the rocks. So if I'm floating, I'll yeah. be okay. Yeah. Okay. The, the springs will push you down at a pretty good rate at the head. Got you. It slows up a little down. Yeah. Uh, a little further down. But it yeah, does down by the watering hole, like the swimming yeah. area, right? The watering hole. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're calling it. Uh, it will, the push is not as strong. Okay. But it's a, it's a pretty good push at the head. Mm -hmm. uh, but you can also kind of crawl along, kind of pulling the rocks as you go along. Okay. And I think that's it. Fun. Um, don't stand up. Don't it's very stand rocky. up. Yeah. Okay. I um, think I'm going to wear my water shoes. Yes. You know, yes. the ones I wear to the water park all the time, I think I'll wear those. I would advise that, even though you shouldn't be stopping because you're not going to have the GoPro. It should be pretty easy for you. Just, Just put snorkel. mask on, snorkel down, uh, and use the rocks to help you, you know, pull you along. Okay. Let's do this. You, you, you excited? I am. I haven't snorkeled in probably a decade. Oh so, my goodness. Yeah, yeah, it's been a really long time. Nothing Last time it. we, I think we were like in Mexico. Nothing to on, it. On a catamaran. Just, uh, we'll get up there. We'll uh, we'll use the anti-fog on your mask. Okay. Uh, we have the solution, but like I said, you can use toothpaste. Rub it around the face, in the inside of the mask, and then rinse it off uh, with the spring water. Yep. Okay, I'm excited for you. Let's do this. Okay. It's about 9.45 now, 9.50, somewhere around there. You can see the crowds are starting to build. We're going to walk up to the head of the spring, which is another four or five minute walk. So, from the very end, the very, very end, where we have to get out of the river, probably a nine to ten minute walk to get back to the head of the spring. Five minutes to get here to the watering hole and your beach area, though. All right, she's getting ready for her first snorkel in a decade. <laughs> Make sure it fits as she goes, she's doing good. We'll film her 
going down a bit of a ways. And then I'll jump in. The other advice I should have given her, breathe from your mouth. Oh, there she goes. Now we, we didn't go all the way to the head. The head's just like 20 feet the other way. A little easier entry point from here. Why is she stopping? Why is she stopping? Go all the way down. Yeah, to the other tree. She doesn't know where to go. We, we had talked about this before she got in. She can't remember. She's overcome with the beauty of the spring. Well, your first little bit of snorkeling, how'd it go? Awesome. Fun? Yeah, I got a little panicky. I saw that. <laughs> you saw that really? <laughs> right. We're oh, heading on downstream funny. there. Okay. No. The river's just floating. Halfway through, we made it to the island. Yes. Your first snorkel in years in a decade. Yes. You like it better than tubing? I do. I like it better than tubing, to tell you the truth. Totally harder to control, and mm -hmm. I didn't want to put my feet down, and there was times when I had to tuck my butt up, you know, from sitting too yeah. far down yeah. in the floaty, because it was scraping the, the rocks. Mm -hmm. So a lot more control, um, and I, wearing shoes on the first half is important. The rocky part. Yeah, absolutely. But yeah. Um, no, I love snorkeling. Once I got comfortable, I was like, yes, this is the best. Then let's do this. Uh, let me get my snorkel. Uh -huh. We won't go all the way back to the head of the spring. Okay. Let's snorkel from here, the sandy portion of the river. Finished another run of Rock Springs. But I want to note. See the sign? Bon Jovi, a big fan of Rock Springs. And that's it. That ends our day of fun snorkeling and tubing at Rock Springs in Kelly Park, Apopka, Florida. Awesome. Such a great day. If you guys are in the area and you have an opportunity to come out here, it's very inexpensive and very relaxing. Um, highly recommend it. Yeah, all the information is in the video, and I'll leave some information in the description box. Yeah, definitely. I think snorkeling is my newfound uh, love. Love, really. I like uh, sup boarding, mm -hmm. and I like uh, snorkeling now. Who knew? Don't give it away. We'll show some sup boarding and stuff later on in the series. But as for now, adventure is out there. You only need a road trip to find it. <laughs>